everyone welcome to ksr data vision snowflake program so in this video we will we are going to discuss about how to crack the snowflake interview so nowadays we can see snowflake is something is a very booming technology or a booming cloud data warehouse we can call which actually replacing all the traditional and competing some of the um, cloud providing data warehouses right so how can we crack it easily so we could see many companies are adopting snowflake now all the banking sectors or telecom or either auto finance all are moving towards the snowflake so let's understand how can we crack and uh, what are the major things in when you go interview what you will face okay so we see first first one is usually whenever you go the first question arise by an interviewer is something like how can you differentiate a traditional data warehouse or an other cloud data warehouse with a snowflake right so how can you how can you differentiate so either if you couldn't able to make all the questions here at least try to say some differences so when you say some differences um snowflake uh, you can see here there is a three layers we have one is a database storage query processing or a cloud services right so in traditional data warehouses what happens is query processing that means whatever is computing the query and storage right both will be lies on a same storage layer okay in this snowflake the main advantage is both are independent and it can grow independently so that way it can give a faster results to that so always make sure you present this first point whenever the interview asks and cloud services provides many other uh, features for us like metadata infrastructure management or the roles management security there are many other things we will discuss in a further slide right but when someone is saying that why snowflake even snowflake is also cloud data warehouse uh, why can't we use a big query or why can't we use a, a redshift spectrum right so there are a different ways snowflake provides a different features are a better features than in a um, either bigquery or in a redshift right so example i could say is bigquery or we don't have a data sharing concept okay or um, something called you can say that the better console right or uh, or better one you can say that you know the way the connectors connects to the snowflake or the way the lot of feasibility is to connect to the snowflake is not been available with the other cloud data warehouses okay let's go into detail here so if you see in this diagram right so uh, we can see snowflake is a multi cloud layer stuff okay what that means so example you take a bigquery bigquery will be always there on a google cloud engine they deployed on a google cloud engine okay and uh, uh, you take a um, redshift spectrum so it always will be there on a azure okay but snowflake is a multi cloud that means it either can be deployed on aws azure or a google cloud whoever wish to have on a whatever platform they can deploy it on top of it they can choose actually i don't Okay. so and another thing we can see as we discussed in a previous slide three layers one is a cloud service layers and a, another one is a processing layer that nothing but a compute engine layer and the last layer is a storage layer so always they ask um, how can you differentiate the storage how can you differentiate the compute so or else the questions will be like you know um, you have a compute so uh, um, you have a compute how can you scale up the compute right so you have to know how to scale up how to scale down the compute how can you optimize the um, query how can you fetch the quicker results okay how the state storage you can increase are you do you need to take any kind of actions in the storage right so how can you build the connections how can you put the rules so all these things is needed for the interview okay so and also sometimes they say um, have you have do you have any experience in putting a policy policies on a tables so example you have some uh, you know sensitive data where you have to apply the data masking policy so you have to understand what is data say masking policies and you have to attempt to give an answer to the interviewer okay that's all comes under a cloud services here okay in next slide you definitely need an in a hands on practice or an experience in all these areas okay actually all these areas and beyond also is a good to have okay mainly the questions arise arises at data import or export that means whenever the data comes to you how can you load it or if someone asks they want a data how can you import the data and give it to them okay and next one is a data sharing data sharing actually stands snowflake as a unique 
feature which doesn't have it in either in a traditional or a cloud data warehouses so how can you share a data with someone else example you are a data engineer and data analyst need some data okay so how can you share so you the you don't want to give any uh, access to your table so that he can work on his own table so that way what you can do is you can just share the data as a different table to him so that he can complete his whatever the kps or whatever the requirements he have on it so both the data engineers and a data analyst both can parallelly work on the same data set right so file format stages result catching so result catching is also one of the call you know concept here so interviewer will ask what are the types of query catchings we have right so in that say we you need to say there is a query result catching or a local disk catching or a warehouse catching or you need to say metadata catching and what are the benefits of having a catching so it's better to know interviewer will have definitely one question on it okay and the next one is streams and tasks so how streams traditionally cdc's will be implemented using etls or something how streams has actually replaced that concepts and task is something called as an orchestration tool so which orchestration tool you can compare with a task like a control m or autosys something like that we have a similar in a snowflake also so snowpipe you need to understand how can you continuously try to load the data into tables and data validation concepts so whoever is the data engineers are there in current world there will be a definitely one question saying that okay there is a data appeared and some data got wrong or while loading the data you have to validate whether the data will fit it into the table or not so how can you validate the data what are the functionalities available in the snowflake okay and a time travel time travel is something like if say something went wrong how can you bring back the data into the same shape it was the before changing so it's this all topics are very important to understand and which uh, majorly required for the interview okay so if you see um, major one more thing which for the snowflake interview you definitely need to know the sequels okay so um the dml statement ddl statements um i stored prox a bit of stored prox is fine not more knowledge eventually you will learn it okay and what kind of tables are available in a, a table so temporary table transient tables uh, materialized reviews permanent tables so all this you need to know the you know what is the significance of having these tables and what time these tables has to be used okay and aggregation functions so it's all comes under a sql so where you have to do some count a uh, lead lag where you have to apply a group by on something so the, all these things basic things is must needed for the interview okay next one is uh, definitely when you go for interview they will ask like, how you are connecting to a snowflake okay if not that way what other way you can able to connect to the snowflake right so you can see snowflake actually providing a multiple ways you can connect to the snowflake um you know via api or a, you can have in a jdbc connectors or a odbc connectors on you or if you have any third party tools have a informatica or abinitio or um, um, you know a data stage or um, you know melician or there are a lot of other third party tools where they can directly provide the connectors to snowflakes where you all need to give is uh, what is your connector connection for username password what database you need to use what schema you need to use all this you need to pass okay and snowflake itself will provide a snow sequel as a one of the cli so usually i think whoever is been experienced in it already so they would be knowing something like you know from a linux we will be connecting to the oracle using a sequel plus or we will be connecting to the netis um, or we will be connecting to the uh, you know mysql commands so similarly snow sequel is also one of the um, cli um, client which has provided by the snowflake where you can connect directly to your snowflake uh, where you can run all your queries okay and then we have a python spark where you can connect so it's better to know some python code um, if if you are trying to connect from the experience whoever is trying already doing connecting to the apis to snowflake running some sql queries using a python commands so it's better to know even spark spark sql or a spark connectors you can have you can connect with the snowflake okay and console console is all for whoever want to do analysis or do a quick analysis or um, um, quick checks or quick creation something they want to do some test and all so there is always a web based user interface is available providing by a snowflake okay so this this uh, is a definite one question will be there so how you are connecting if not that way in other way what you can suggest okay so next good to have a knowledge in a snowflake when you appear for interview so definitely uh, you know there will be a questions on a snowflake and also there will be some supporting 
tools are supporting coding they will be asking that if you have a knowledge or not so sql is one must thing so you should know all the dml ddl actions a bit of a stored procs a bit of a aggregation functions and all okay coding skills it's a good to have so if you have a python basic pythons where you can connect to the snowflake using apis and run sequels so that is also good if you have a java programming um, knowledge in past or if you are currently working on a java programming also where you can connect java using a java or stored procs mainly you can write it into java also you can write in sql as well so if you know java if you are familiar with it java is always best to go okay cli so cli is something whoever is having knowledge in either unix or linux or perl scripting or some other scripting right so same way you can utilize the cli it's better to have and etls right so etls any etl like nowadays whatever um, etls are there everything is have a own connectors connecting to the snowflake and there are a lot of third parties are there uh, even third parties are also providing to connect to snowflakes yeah so there will be a one question yeah always there will be a one question how can you use or is snowflake can be used as a etl tool okay the answer is definitely yes okay snowflake can do extract extract what are the files which has been generated by other source systems or other uh, technologies right uh, like files like a json file csv file xml file or um, paraquet files any files right so it can extract the data from them okay and transform right so it can transform the data uh, you, you can apply any functions on it casting or you want to change some you want to um, you know massage some data or you have to write some aggregations everything you can write on this um, uh, transformation on a snowflake and loading right so you can load either into stages internal stage or an external stage external stage doesn't mean that if you want to have it on aws or a uh, you know gcp or a azure wherever you want to write you can load the data or you can load it into your tables using the copy into command right so snowflake is definitely an etl tool it can extract transform and load the data okay so you always can express more about the etl whenever the interviewer asks questions take the chance as an advantage and explain more and uh, show you are all um, knowledge on a snowflake hope this video helps thank you for visiting the video